Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Craig here from Gifts Electrical. Hope you are well. Um, we are back at this uh, the coach house for um, the board change. You may have uh, seen in one of the previous videos that we did an EICR. Um, obviously, I haven't done a video in a while. This is my first one since uh, going off sick. Uh, Please say I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, but uh, I have with me my my chum, my Good pal. Morning. How you all well? Tom's come to give us help in hand today, so because uh, it's quite a big job and um, yeah, not feeling 100% yet, but we need to get cracking on with work. So we got um, Hager 8 plus 10 way SPD board. Um, obviously, it's a TT system, so we're doing a full RCBO setup, um, but it does have a 100 milliamp uh, time delayed RCD on there anyway. So we'll leave that in situ. Um, Tom's going to crack on with the remedial list. Uh, I'm going to start stripping out the board, getting it labelled up, and then uh, putting our trunk in and whatnot so that we can then make it off nice and neat because at the moment it looks uh, pretty hideous with the cables uh, just dangling around everywhere. So we'll take you inside, uh, we'll get set up, we'll then take you inside, and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we are obviously this is the board. You may have remember this from the previous videos. Um, Memera 2000, so we've obviously got these pods here, um, you know, and they all work with the exception of that one. Um, but if you know anything about these pods, these RCBO pods are like, you know, anything from 80 to 150 quid, depending on where you buy them from. Um, so the new board, we're going to take this off, um, we're going to take it off in its entirety, strip the cables down. We've got trunking um, that's going to go up and down, and then we'll tear cross and come in from uh, probably underneath of the board. Um, <clears throat> we've got this old adapter box is going to come out so we're going to actually fit the armour straight into the new board. So no need for the adaptable box. Uh, the board that we've got um, is underneath there somewhere. Um, it's a Hager 8 plus 10 SPD board supplied by the good people of Gillac. Um, it's not a sponsored video, I paid for all this. Um, but they were really quick to get it turned around. Um, basically, there's, as most people know, there's actually a shortage of a lot of uh, manufacturers' kit at the moment. And these guys were able to um, put the order together and get it out. They even upgraded the delivery um, because DPD decided to uh, not deliver next day like they should have, so they upgraded it to Saturday free of charge. So cannot fault the guys at Gillette. Um So shout out to them. Thank you, guys. Especially George. Um, loving the... Uh, the I'm a consumer unit, get me out of here. So yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, that's the plan of action. I've got Tom with me, obviously he is doing uh, the remedial works at the moment. So he's gonna tidy up, uh, get all the switches off because we've got to put uh, the CPCs into the back of them because they're all metallic. Uh, a couple of uh, circuit issues to, to identify as well. So we're gonna be belling out as well. So really useful to uh, have him on site, but you can hear Still a little bit out of breath, so I'm glad he's here. But we'll uh, get this stripped down, um, trunk it up, and go from there. Okay, so masks are off, uh, client's gone out, we've got the house to ourselves now. Um, I've changed my method of working uh, since I did the ICR last time. Um, whenever I ident identify multiple circuits in one breaker, um, I tend to heat shrink them now, so I know exactly which circuit I'm working on. You know, I know some people might label it, but you know, heat shrinks there, it's done and dusted. Um, on this one, I didn't, so we're having to identify every individual um doubled up circuit now, which isn't a major issue, it's just obviously adding a little bit of extra time because I should have done it when I um did the original ICR, but like I said, uh, just changing my way I work now. So, um, this is our this is the board as you can see. Um, so yeah, no care was obviously taken to it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. So uh, we've got a bit of alley cable here. I don't know. We've got a trace where this was the unknown circuit that we left disconnected. We don't actually know what it does. Um, so we're actually going to bell that out now and trace it using a toner and visual check. Um, but yeah, not a very nice board. But uh, we'll soon put a nice new Hager in there. Okay, so all the um, cables have been stripped out now. Uh, they've been labelled. Uh, we've got obviously our cables from that come up from the floor. Um, obviously, with it with it being a Hager board, the um, it's obviously quite large in terms of obviously footprint. Although it's double stack, 
so uh, much bigger than the Mamera. So uh, we've dropped it down a little bit um, just so we can actually then get, um, yeah, so it's, it's at a reasonable height still. Um, because obviously if we were to mount it in the existing location, it'd be much higher up. So in my view, in my view, that makes it worse than before. So we've dropped it down. Uh, that's the lowest we're going to go. And that'll sit along our trunk in there. So trunking's going to go up and down. We're then going to get all our feeds in, obviously. Um, and then we'll foam that to seal that hole. That's going to need to be overboarded um, in order to really prevent that. So, uh, or to prevent the spread of fire, that's going to need to be overboarded. So I'll have to speak to the client about arranging that. Um, see what they want us to do and we'll go from there. But yeah, that's progress so far. I mean, it's it's half 12, so time's getting on. So we've got to mount this and crack on. So uh... Okay, so trunking's in. Not that you can see it, I've kind of hidden it behind the cables now. Um, board's up, so we've got a, I've just got to nip to the hole center because we need to get another uh, T. So we're coming across the top as well. Um, so we're gonna come in across the bottom and the top. So uh, it should be straightforward enough. Um, but yeah, so far so good, progress is going well. We've got 20, obviously 25 mil there. That's gonna come in at the bottom. Um, and it's plenty of length, so we can actually cut it down at the very, very bottom. Um, and then loop it in, so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, Tom's almost finished with all the remedials, just the uh, extractor fan to replace now. Um, I'm gonna nip off to the wholesaler, pick up the T, pick up the um, additional six amp breaker that we need. Um, I had a 16 on the van, which was good, because we um, one of the circuits I identified is actually just a radial, but they put it into a 32 amp. Who knows why? Um, it literally serves one socket. So yeah, that's that's what I'm off to now, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so board is up, trunking's in, armoured's in. Now that is some of the toughest 25 mil I've ever worked with. Um, really hard, obviously. Being TT, we've just, uh, obviously, as per regs, we've, uh, it's gotta be uh, double sleeved, basically. Um, so, uh, I was flagged up on my last report, uh, last assessment with the NIC that whenever you have a TT, you should double sleeve the incoming feeds. So regardless of the fact that it's in, you know, it's an armoured. It was an armoured last time, but my assessor flagged it up. So a bit of heat shrink. It just gives it that, you know, basically double insulated. You know, hey ho. Um, but yeah, we can now start dressing the board. Right guys, so that is us done on this for now. Um, we're day one, it's six o'clock. This is not the finished article. Um, I'm by no means not happy with leaving it like that. So um, we'll be back again tomorrow to come and finish that. Um, basically just, we had to get it back on tonight. Um, couldn't leave it. So that's where we're at. It's been a long old day. Um, Tom's been fantastic. We've got all the remedials done. So we're back again tomorrow to finish it off. Um, test label um and then we've got some outside stuff to do as well but for now i'll catch you later what's up guys um so it's actually been about three weeks since we actually started this job um sadly i came down my my son came down with covid and we've basically been having to isolate and then there was training and so yeah it's the obviously board was safe and everything but I've, we're back today to finish off dress it finish off additional testing uh complete the remedial so um for the ones that we haven't done i think we did most of them um so we've got a fair bit to go obviously mask on as always um so the board's off i'm just going to prove dead um because the board and the isolator are in two separate areas so we've got qtec proving unit along with my voltage tester i'm just going to make sure that's okay yes, it is so um obviously just going to make sure that this is dead uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, so line and CPC, neutral to CPC, and then we're just going to make sure that there's nothing there. So I'm happy that that is now dead again, and we'll just check that this is. Yeah, so we're good. So uh, we're going to crack on dressing the board or redressing the board. So you can see from here. Uh, this is the state we almost, well, we've kind of left it. Obviously, that's not, we have to pull that out just to do a, a test on it. But um, 
yeah, it just was thrown in last minute. Um, so we're going to finish dressing this off, uh, furl up the strands, uh, stranded cable, etc., uh, and just get it nice and neat and tidy, uh, label up the board, and then we're done. So I've got Tom helping me out again. Hello again. So yeah, we're going to crack on. Right, guys, so little update on you. Um, we've literally uh, just taken out all the cables and Tom's now beginning to redress them. Um, obviously, thankfully, most of them are long enough that we can just strip them back into the trunk in um, and then pull them back through uh, and we'll get a nice neat finish. Um, I've made the client aware that the hole down the bottom, they just need to get some... Um, they're going to get a, a carpenter to come and sort that out properly. We're going to foam the hole at the top um, and go from there. But yeah, how's it going so far, Tom? Yeah, good. Excellent. Man, a few words, this man. <laughs> Concentrating, not my few words. One word answers all the time. Uh, so, yeah, monosyllabic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I actually love the the Hager double stack board. It's it's actually um, really spacious inside. Um, we've also got the brother out and done some uh, we've already pre-printed our labels so yeah we've got our labels ready to go so once the board's up we've obviously got the one for main switch spd etc and then um, printed off an extra one but then we've got obviously the upstairs uh, all the upstairs lights because the lights are split off so much um you haven't just got one circuit for upstairs, one circuit for downstairs. You've actually got half and half. So you've got upstairs left, upstairs right, um, downstairs left, downstairs right. So, yeah, quite a number of circuits in this place. So, yeah, once it's obviously, it's, like I said, it's going to be much better than the uh, the last board that was in here. That was uh, that Eaton Mamera with a couple of uh, oh, those pods, weren't they, Tom? So, yes. Yeah, somebody spent a fortune on those, didn't they? So, but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I've decided not to opt for the time lapse because, let's face it, time lapse can be a bit boring, and this is actually quite time consuming. So, um, for now, we'll just do status updates. But catch you in a bit. Okay, just a, a quick progress because we're almost at the the final stages now because we've obviously we tested and everything previously, so we're just dressing off now. Um, partially filled the hole, and then the filler ran out, so I've just gone out and got some more foam. Not filler, obviously it's expanding foam, uh, intermescent and expanding foam, so I've got some more of that. Uh, Tom's done a cracking job, um, we've, we've been kind of taking it in turns, but um, he's just finishing off now while I was out and about. So yeah, I think what we've got, two two circuits left or three circuits? Three circuits uh, left to go. Two and then put that one back in. Yeah. So two circuits left to feed in. Um, We'll then torque tight everything just to be on this, obviously make sure it's all right. Uh, got our labels already printed, like I said, so yeah, uh, good progress. Okay, board is in and dressed fully. Um, so we're happy with it. Obviously we haven't actually extended any of the cables, so um, trying to avoid doing any of that. So they're all their original lengths and some obviously come in through the top um and straight down so rather than there just wasn't enough space and yeah i mean i'm happy with just the bottom and top entries so that's that's how we've kept it um and yeah tried to obviously basically we're making as good as we possibly can but obviously uh the neutral uh links from the rcbo's are all furled up as well uh and obviously any stranded any other stranded cables all been furled up as well because i just uh yeah it, whether you need to or not, I, I always feral stranded cable. Um, it seems to be a contentious issue, but definitely feral in. So, uh, torque tightness on these. Uh, we're going to get the torque screwdriver out and just make sure they're all torque correctly. Again, seems to be a controversial issue with the uh, the torque settings. Um, a lot of questions recently saying, should I get one? Is it worth it? Blah, blah, blah. Um, the manufacturer's instructions clearly state to torque your connections um so why wouldn't you but um you know each their own uh we will definitely be talking this board up so um literally that is it for now uh, i'm gonna get the get this all talked up and then we'll uh, get it the front on and labeled up right guys we are uh covers on obviously all labeled up um we're just writing off this label here um we've obviously used our brother printer to print off our uh our consumer unit details um 
obviously some multiple, some reasonably large circuits, but they all test out fine. Uh, Tom is just sat on his leg, <laughs> just filling out the uh, the rest of the forms. But we've got that one label to stick on, which will be for here, and then uh, that's us done. So yeah, uh, obviously taking a little longer than would expect. Should have been two days. Obviously, it's ended up being two days plus between three weeks. So, hey, here's what it is. Uh, times we live in. So, um, that's it from me. That's it from Tom. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you again soon on the next video. Bye for now.